In this video, we will learn how to use EasyBlog Element, one of the Joomla elements of JSN Page Builder 3. Here is the EasyBlog Element interface on the JSN Page Builder 3. This element is the same as the article list element, which was mentioned on video 4, how to create a new module. To use this element, first of all we need to download and install the EasyBlog extension from Stack Ideas. Go to stackideas.com to download the EasyBlog extension. and then go to the admin site to install this extension. Just click on installation under extensions menu item and drag the installation file. In this video, EasyBlog extension is already installed. Go to EasyBlog under components menu item to start to create a category and blog post. Click on the categories item on the left side to create your categories. Next, click on Post Item to create the post and don't forget to select a category for them. One more thing is the post cover. This will be shown when we use the EasyBlog element on JSN Page Builder 3. Once our Create Blog Post process is finished, the second step is Module Creation. Go to Modules under the Extensions menu item to create a custom module. Switch the editor to Page Builder 3, then click on the Click to Edit button to visit the page editor. Enter the page title and click Save. Go back to Page Editor. In the list of Joomla elements, drop EasyBlog Element to the page content. Select the element and change the category in the Categories parameter of the General tab. Select the author if your category has more than one content contributor. Change the word limit to show for your posts. Sort the posts by most rated, highest rated, latest, etc. in descending or ascending order. Hide element allows you to hide some elements of the post such as feature image, title, author, category, intro text, and read more button. And many more settings below. In the Styling tab, you can style for Post Title, Categories Title, Intro Text, and Read More button on the element. Let's try styling text for the title, change the font size, and pick a color. Once settings and styling processes are finished, don't forget to hit the Save button. In the Module Editor default screen, we need to select a position to show the module on the front page. The template we are using is Protostar default, so we choose position 1 to show this module. Save and view the site. This is the custom module created by JSN Page Builder 3 with an easy blog element. Thank you for watching. Please check other videos to learn more about how to work with the JSN Page Builder 3.